Now Dolphin Motorhomes have just started selling Camper King conversions and this one just jumped straight out as Hi guys, welcome to Dolphin Motorhomes today where we are checking out this 2021 Camper King Monte Carlo. Let's go and have a look. So this Monte Carlo is fitted with the two litre, 150 horsepower turbo diesel engine. That's mated to the DSG gearbox, which we all absolutely love. And what I really like is, although it's like the traditional T6.1 front end, it's got the extra sport line splitters on the bottom, which just make it look really, really cool. And that's complemented by the awesome blue color, the little accents that they put around all the edges, which look really, really smart. It goes really well with this base gray color. This one's been customized with 20 inch super metal black alloy wheels, which look really smart. As we move further back, we've got Neptune blue mirrors, Neptune blue door handles, and then even like a Neptune blue uh, decal along the bottom which is sat just above the black side running bars as well which make it look that little bit lower and gives it that sporty look. We have tinted windows from the B pillar back which are really nice dark uh, limo tints. On this side we've got a sliding window, the actual access is on the passenger side which I know a lot of Brits like and then as we work our way further back we have the water inlet and also the electric hookup point as well. More Neptune blue uh, accents along with a bit of black as well on the VW logo. A bit more blue here and also it's a tailgate design which stops you from getting wet when you're getting bits out of the van. As I said earlier, sliding door on the passenger side and then just above the sliding door we've got a nice big Dometic wind out awning as well to give you that protection either in the rain and also provide a bit of shade when it's sunny. Right well we've had a look outside, let's have a look at the inside. Let's get some sun baby it's time to go This Camper King Monte Carlo comes with upholstered black leather cab seating with diamond shaped stitching. Both driver and passenger seats are captain's chairs and spin round to face the cab area. You'll notice this one is fitted with the VW 6.5 inch touchscreen head unit which includes DAB radio and smartphone connectivity. It also comes with parking sensors in the front and the rear. One feature that I like that we've not seen a lot of is the small removable table next to the passenger chair. This would be great for working on a laptop with a view. Moving on to the quite unique blue looking kitchen, I realise it's not going to be for everyone but the great thing about Camper King is you can choose all the units yourself. Now this one is quite eye catching in the blue colour and I actually really like it. It's got some really neat little features, I like the lighting along the back, I like the fact that it's all very tidy, all the cabinets are quite big, there's plenty of space for all your pots and pans and things. You've got two hobs and a big sink actually to wash things up in. It is just cold water. There's a good size fridge with a freezer unit as well for your ice creams and things like that. The blinds are really good. They've been built in, they're blackout blinds and they're exceptionally good, very well made, very easy to use. top it off above the kitchen as well is even more space and keep your spices and your tins of soup and whatever else you need. There's also an oven on board which is exciting because who doesn't love pizzas in a camper van? The lighting above the kitchen is touch sensitive but can also be switched on and off on the master control unit next to the kitchen. This is where you can see your fresh and grey water levels plus see the charge on your leisure battery. Above the habitation control unit is your Webasto diesel heater control and below them both are two 3-pin plugs plus a USB port. 
I like the fact Camper King have added little details like their light up logo in the kitchen. A criticism I'd have is I have no idea where your cutlery would be stored as there doesn't appear to be a drawer for that. If you are looking for more storage however, there is even more under the rear bench seat. There is also a rail for a large table in the cab area. The Monte Carlo is a four berth camper van and my glamorous assistant here is going to show you how easy it is to make up the lower bed. The van also comes with a pop top with another two berth bed in the roof. During the day you can just push the bed up and out of the way for headroom. The ease to put the bed back is so good. Look at this. Job done. One thing worth mentioning is the fact that you actually have quite a lot of leg room in here. Plenty of space for your table and people to eat, sit around, enjoy themselves. Now the reason for that is there's slightly less space in the boot. So if you've got say a big dog, that's gonna be slightly more problematic. Now that's because of how the bed is set up. But if you come back with me, I'll show you the boot space. Now as Sean already mentioned, this is a tailgate. That's lovely for if you're getting things in and out whilst it's raining. But as you can see, there's very little space for a dog, say the size of Bentley. I mean, that's obviously not a problem if you don't have a dog. There is, though, plenty of space underneath this for storage. So you've got loads of space to put your things. There's actually an internal screen cover in there too for the front windows. All the other ones have got blackout blinds on, but those front windows, you can use that internal screen cover or an external one if you've got one. So you've got a bit more storage back here as well, a few more cupboards. These ones are quite coolly cut into the shape so that they're around the chair area, which is quite nice. And what I really like is the fact that Camper King have got the hookup cable and the vehicle jack in their own personalized bags, which is quite cool. Now this is just one variant of the Monte Carlo. The great thing here is so much of these vans can be personalised to your own taste and they have a great configuration lounge at Dolphin Motorhomes to help you pick exactly what options you want on your Camper King. We loved the friendly family atmosphere when we were there filming so if you are interested please give them a visit and they'd be happy to help you out. We've linked their website in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look around the Camper King Monte Carlo in this incredible paint scheme. Really like the dark grey and the Neptune blue highlights. Very, very smart. Huge thank you to Dolphin Motorhomes for letting us have a look around this. If you're interested in buying it, check out their website, which is linked below, and we shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Camper King have actually got the Hooker King. <laughs> the Hooker King? <laughs>